everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Last Day Outer Survival, where I am incredibly excited because, boom, just earlier today, Kafir shared the nuttiest teaser I think I have ever seen for this game known as Last Day on Earth and its existence. This is a teaser for the very next update we're going to be getting, aka the season one of the Battle Pass or whatever in Tarnation that does have going on. And what you guys are seeing here is like, oh my god, the first time I watched this, I could not believe what my eyes were looking at so many new things including all a bunch of stuff we're gonna be breaking down and like oh my god the junkyard that we saw the wrecked ships return the helicopter kevlar armor and what appears to be an update to the gas station coming as well my hype for this next update is just reached freaking oh my my hype meter is completely broken i gotta go to costco i gotta i gotta get a new one as soon as i'm done recording this video but in the meantime i'll get some duct tape and we'll make it work because boom let's go and break down the first keyframe of this teaser and what this encompasses and this is that junkyard that i was talking about this is gonna be a new location coming to last day on earth in this very update and this is one that was teased i believe just the other week or two weeks ago something like that in a thursday development section where they showed a little bit of a sketch for it but long story short a new junkyard location will be being added to the game and that is exactly what we are seeing here where there's all sorts of, like scrapped cars it does appear that there is going to be a savage giant over there and i think we might be able to see a savage giant over on the left as well appears to be what a, like what is like a semi truck trailer over on the left and we can kind of see all the way in the back that this is going to be like a large fenced in area what appears to be like a tent over here on the left which makes me wonder if there might be like NPCs, maybe like some raiders that will be coming across over here. Regardless, something cool is going to be going on at this junkyard and definitely going to be a location that we are going to be visiting. And when this new update does drop, there's going to be so many places we're going to be visiting. I can't wait to make a bejesus ton of videos about it. Make sure y'all are staying tuned with that notification bell hit for when that comes and as more information does come out. Boom! What we're seeing here is what appears to be a new update coming to the gas station as well, along with this big sign the same craft pointing to the left of Jane's garage. What could this be? Well, boom, there was a little bit of a teaser posted actually a couple of Thursday development sections ago where every Thursday, Kofir does post some sort of a little bit of a teaser about some forthcoming stuff they are working on. And that is the fact that the ATV appears like it is going to be getting moved to Jane's mechanic shop over at the gas station location. Now, does that mean that the ATV is going to be craftable in this update, or does that simply mean that they are preparing for the ATV to be craftable in the next update? Because there's a great chance that we'll be able to find the ATV transmission in that junkyard, because, dude, it's a new location, and that is, like, one of the primest locations imaginable to have an ATV transmission. Now, we have not seen any Swamp gameplay teasers throughout a lot of these teasers going on, unless that shipwreck we're going to be talking about in a little bit has actually, like, takes place over over in the swamp for example and we also haven't seen explicit atv driving gameplay get teased in any of these kind of like big teasers around the game and as you guys are seeing over here in this kind of thursday development section image it does say coming soon on the atv and it's kind of like taped off a little bit which means that this might be kind of like the final preparation for the atv to be added in and instead the atv slash swamp update will be the second big update being added this summer and this one's going to be a kind of the pre cursor to that that i mean by the looks of it guys it's still gonna add in a whole ton of stuff it's gonna be the biggest update we've had in ages but it does indeed appear that the gas station and subsequently jane's mechanic shop is gonna get a little bit of a revamp boom and next up this is where the juice starts to come out this is where a lot of things start to come together. Number one, further confirmation that the Rector ship is going to be returning either as some sort of a location or an event, and I'm kind of leaning towards the location side. You guys will see why in a little bit, but on top of that, we are seeing the Free Rider Club over here, what appears to be a bike club, a little bit of a bike gang that is going to be added in as some sort of a new faction into the game because we've seen a whole ton of these bike teasers going on this is stuff that we've been breaking down throughout the last couple of days but this is going to be absolutely big because this wrecked ship location might end up being the home of these new kind of like bike riders over here we might even be able to like a quest from them and stuff because it does appear like there's going to be a lot going on with them but the uh, piece de resistance the very next screenshot is or i guess little clip that you guys are going to be enjoying is this 
What we are seeing here is a man in full Kevlar riding on a helicopter overlooking this massive beachhead with billions, okay, maybe not billions, but a lot of zombies storming a little man over on the beach trying to fend things off. Wow, this could be insane. I, this could potentially be something similar to the police station where it's kind of like a wave defense thing where potentially you have to fend off giant waves of zombies swarming you potentially from the wrecked ship in the distance because it is indeed confirmed, boom, that this little clip does take place at the wrecked ship location because in the distance you can see not just a beachhead but also, or a beach or whatever you want to call it, but in the distance you can indeed see that wrecked ship and the fact that these zombies are swarming all the way over here, it looks Looks like this is going to be a very 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 large location but there's the potential with all these zombies that we are seeing that this is going to be something along the lines of like a wave defense thing where you have to fend off waves of zombies as they run up on us or this could just be kind of like the big thing about this location or potentially this could be an event but i'm definitely leaning more towards the location side because in the distance you guys can't see over at that shipwreck that they do have little tents set up by the shipwreck you guys can actually see that little like blue tent in the distance making it seem that this is a bit more of a permanent and settled location rather than a temporary one like the shipwreck of the past has been since if you guys do not recall the shipwreck is actually an old event that used to exist in the game so a lot of takeaways to be had with everything going on on the ground but how in tarnation is this chopper going to tie into things are we going to literally be able to like call in chopper support are we going to be able to somehow drive this chopper or ride on the side like this man in full kevlar is riding i don't know but the fact that they are showing and teasing Kevlar as well has me thinking that the necessary items to craft Kevlar, in case you guys go ahead and follow me over to this crafting menu, the main thing it's going to require is titanium. Could we perhaps, from one of these new locations, either the junkyard or this wrecked ship event, be able to acquire this new resource and finally build the final not final but i suppose i should say the next tier of armor over here in kevlar assault also does take titanium as you guys can see although surprisingly enough it does take less titanium than its kevlar counterparts over there so i'm a little bit bamboozled by that but i think what they might end up doing is kind of fixing the recipe of this assault stuff over here and potentially having this be like the tungsten armor that we have to craft because that and yet in that case kevlar would be titanium as we can see swat is steel and just kind of like progressively goes from there but going back to the image what we are seeing over there in the distance with the shipwreck and the tent and the fact that we did see the kind of like little like motorcycle gang like bike gang kind of being teased along with the shipwreck in the distance that's kind of what has me leaning towards the bikers potentially calling this the home of their faction with everything that they have going on because also it doesn't seem like the zombies are swarming from the ship that's definitely a possibility and in this teaser image that had to do with us teasing season one it did seem like the zombies were indeed running from the ship to attack your person and fend them off kind of similar to this little clip over here that it does have going on which by the way is another reason that as you guys might be able to see this is something we broke down the other day the m60 a brand new gun the gun that this person in this image is holding over here may very well be getting added in this next update as well because this weapon in his hands fits the description of an m60 to a t which is a light machine gun which would be another amazing addition and from everything we're seeing from this teaser this is amazing! But all in all, that is the information that we have for you lads and lassies today. Now, if you'll excuse me, we got to raid. We got to make our way over to after we make our way over to this airdrop and collect a little bit of loot. But, oh my god, dude, this update, this update. Ah I don't think I've ever been this hype for an update before this is absolutely ridiculous levels of hype right here because like dude uh, like multiple new locations kevlar the chopper man i want to see when i say chopper i don't mean like a little chopper like this oh no 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 i mean die get to the chopper no i mean the Arnold schwarzenegger chopper the helicopter that is what i'm talking about that is what we are seeing and that is what i am wondering okay are we simply going to be seeing this helicopter kind of riding over the area potentially providing support of some sort or will this helicopter actually oh piece of candy thank you for the marvelous loot over here or will this helicopter actually be something we can like hop into and provide support or do something with you I, I i i don't know there's just so much going on 
and I want to hear what you guys got to say about any single one of these things that we have shown off or every single one of these things that we have shown off because absolutely every single one of them is looking amazing and i cannot wait to get my hands on all of them let me know how hype you guys are for this update especially after this teaser that we showcased off today <laughs> oh, i need it i need it now <laughs> i just want it already like how are you gonna show something that amazing that expects me to sleep at night because that's a bad expectation and i might come back to you joe i might i might go and grab a beer ski doodle and maybe a little bit of beans from my home so i could strike up a deal with you or uh, maybe we could just go to our local motel over here and maybe find what we are looking for unfortunately no shop prevent is spawning which makes me a little bit sad panda but that's okay sometimes panda need be sad in order to feel what a true happiness is like and this teaser has me feeling true happiness Woo! as you guys can tell my hype meter I, like i told you at the beginning is broken it's at about a uh, 69 like out of 10 okay like a normal rating scale that goes like oh you know five out of ten nine out of ten i'm going 69 out of ten because it is just so, dude, it's like, it's, oh, it's so over the top. I just, I can't even right now. Like, you guys might be like, Star, you gotta calm down. I know I gotta calm down. I'm sorry, guys. This is literally the hypest I think I've ever been for an update. Like, everything that they're showing off over here. And the potential as well that that, event, like, that, 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 that wreck ship over there and those zombies running up on us is some sort of an, some sort of an event. Maybe some sort of a, there's the beer we were looking for. Let's just go and grab ourselves. Get out of here. Berry tea. Glug, 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 glug. Get out of here. But but what we saw over there at the wreck ship potentially not just being like a one-time horde that runs up on you, but like some kind of special thing that you can trigger, kind of similar to potentially the police station wave defense thing where you gotta fend off waves of zombies and potentially, you know, be able to call in that helicopter support to help you out as well. Like, dude, there's so many possibilities, like I'm saying. Let me know what you guys think about each and every single one of these. What do you think? Where do you think the junkyard will be located relative to the map? Like, you know, do you think it'll be maybe around here around the motel, for example? Let's just go over to the world map and kind of talk, showcase what I'm talking about, but where on the world map do you think that a couple of these new locations will be situated the wrecked ship being one and the junkyard being the other do you think it'll be maybe i mean the wrecked ship has to be on some sort of a shoreline which is why there's still hope that it could potentially be in the swamp because the swamp has a lot of shoreline in case you guys have not noticed or maybe it'll be along one of these river banks over here or maybe it'll be something in the northern body of water where the only thing we've ever really found is this dock over there and then where will the junkyard be situated where is there room for a junkyard and low-key I could actually see there being a junkyard, like, kind of around here. We haven't really got much going on over there. Maybe they'll do another expansion over here in the corner. There's a little, like, side road that does lead off, and that is right by a giant city. You know, per schnapps, that is where they kind of the entire city, like, or town or whatever you want to call it, dumped all their trash, wherever that little road leads to. But let me know where you guys think all of these new things are going to be situated, how you think they're going to be playing out, what we'll be able to find in each of them. Like, do you guys think there will be titanium in some of these locations? Do you think the ATV transmission will be some sort of a rare loot we'll be able to get out of the junkyard because like dude i'm just saying the junkyard is too perfect to not have an atv transmission like come on where else could we like realistically get an atv transmission compared to some of the locations that we have going on like dude there is not a more perfect location we could possibly have for what we are talking about so let me know what you guys think in, in terms of like your hypotheses around these types of things and i think the small little details of everything will be playing out and definitely let me know how hyped you guys are for this update and honestly which of these things that we showed off is the thing that you are looking forward to the most let me know about all that type of jazz in that comment section it's down below and a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way it's the wicked tribe dollar and to just place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure that like button make sure to subscribe to that alert you in on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when set it rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be what up for the week and we'll kick off in a weekly giveaway that exact same saturday so hello you want to start moving there my guy there we go he just cut his legs kind of stopped working there for a second but yeah when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick random comment from that random video and that will be what up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as i type new info does come out such as the information we have shared today today and broken down as well because not just do we share this information for y'all we break it down we try to find all the hidden little things within these images and connect it with all the information that has already been released in the past to give us the clearest look at the future of last day on earth the clearest look at what these updates are going to contain what we can expect out of them how things are going to play out and just overall like i and i guess you guys can probably tell a little bit of a over
overdosing on hype as well. That's a very, very, very trademarked thing that, uh, well, I, we usually, we don't overdose on hype. We usually just get a little bit hype, but this, this update is definitely causing a bit of a uh, potential hype OD. Def definitely. But yeah, with all that information, we'll keep you guys in the loop with all the latest and greatest of info. As soon as it does come out, we break it down and do all that type of jazz about the future so you guys know what to expect out of the future, what there is going to be coming in the future of last day on Earth, what these new features are going to be looking like, any things you might be able to deduce about these new features, any and all that type of jazz. And as soon as the new update itself does come out, like this massive update for Season 1 of the Battle Pass, as soon as it does become reality, and I mean, we'll be getting corgis too, but as soon as it becomes reality, reality oh baby we're gonna be showing off every single little thing that you guys saw they're gonna be doing those locations to the max we're gonna be showing off what type of loot we can get there what type of enemies can be showcased how to best traverse some of these locations all that type of jazz potential bosses that these locations could have what that kevlar armor looks like what that helicopter looks like like we're gonna be doing everything humanely possible to showcase things to the fullest of their extent so you guys know what these new locations look like so you guys know and can be prepared for these new locations because listen we don't know what these new locations are going to contain so operative star snipe over here i am going to be going in kitted out to the max ready for whatever challenges could be presented to us once we enter these new areas or once we fight such new enemies and well as such like i said i am ready for these challenges and when they do present themselves we got a whole ton of loot in the stockpile and we're going to be using that loot oh baby we're gonna be using that loot to absolutely burn through all of these locations try to find the best loot areas that they have the best ways of taking down enemies what areas to potentially avoid where there might be the toughest of enemies that we gotta look out for like <laughs> and of course if something big needs to be built like that atv that we were seeing a little bit of in that little teaser over at the gas station well guess what we are not gonna sleep until we could have this thing built so we can show it off for you lads and lassies so you know what you're getting into with the ATV, what it looks like, and so y'all can also be hyped for the future because I know some of these things are not necessarily going to be... They, 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 they're going to be a bit closer to end game, so, you know, it's not like something that everyone will be able to get right away, but I know it's probably something that a lot of people are going to want to see what it's like and all that so they kind of know what they're working towards, and like I'm saying, I'm more than happy to provide that, and maybe if it's not worth it, you know, like I, I think the ATV, for example, will be worth it, but if there's something else new that gets added in, like a uh, fancy stick... I could be like, hey guys, ooh, a pistol. I could be like, hey guys, this fancy stick, it sucks. Never craft it. And then you guys will be like, oh, thank you, Star, for taking the L, crafting it, and showcasing it for us. And I'll be like, no problemo, comrade. Always happy to take an L to help everyone out there try and catch a W or two when they can. And goodbye to the rope. I would rather collect some glue for some weapon modifications. Also, goodbye, partially broken hatchet. Actually, uh, I will get rid of clay. I get rid of these over there. And then we just got to make sure that we get back to the dealer before he decides to despawn because that is probably going to be happening sometime soon. And then let's just try to break into the last of these rooms that they are going to try and pit us against. Hello, fast biter. I will pop you with a little bit of that VSS action. We're just going to try to use the rest of that VSS that we got because that thing is literally on the brink. It's on the edge of glory. Just kidding. It's on the edge of death. Not, not as fun of an edge to, to say the least. Grab what we can and hokey dokey artichoke. Oh! Okay, they opened up that door nice and easy and there we have it. They have been dealt with very nicely. May I add? And then we will go over here to the pistol drizzle, collect the last of these chests, and then let's make our way back over to dealer Joe and be like, hey, yo, Joe! Let's make a deal. So yeah, had that notification bell hit. Stay up to date with this and be prepared. When these new updates hit, we're going to be showing off all that they have to offer, and I cannot wait because they have a lot of things to offer by the looks of it. And that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter in on full that weekly giveaway and of course, all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. Then in case you guys have not already, definitely give them a look. You guys might find another game that you enjoy the bejesus out of. So much so you just start keeping up with the series or maybe so much that you download the game yourself and start playing it because we're checking out all the latest and greatest of survival games, new survival games, free survival games, mobile survival games, you name it. And if you guys like Last Down Earth, there's going to be a very great chance you guys are going to be enjoying these other survival games that we are checking out because I am a huge LDOE. Bless for and go to taste the best day in the world. Today cannot get better, dude. Oh my God, we got a shotgun dealer. I love you, man. I love you, bro. He gave us a shotgun. Oh! 
Today is a good day. Today is a great day. Today is a good day. Let's go back and prepare for today's raid. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to welcome ye to the daily raid. As soon as we do one more thing, a craft of the iron hatchets we are going to be needing for this raid. But oh, it is time for you to die. Tuck, tuck, come. It is our time to raid all aboard the hype train. Chugga, 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 Chugga 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 choo choo Pulling into the station? Alright, Hype Train, I'm gonna be needing you, Mr. Hype Train Chopper Mobile, for when that certain little update does come out. But for now, you are my vehicle of choice to come and break into the home of This isn't a revenge raid, right? No, okay, so we're not getting revenge. Break into the home of the random lad who hath the the it been the unfortunate one enough to there was nothing in there it looked like that candle was lit for the workbench there should have been something in there a little bit disappointed but the unfortunate lad who got scattered out by the raiders and they gave us the raid to go this way Ooh, piece of candy we're gonna be breaking into that window over there because after scouting out this base a little bit that is gonna be a little bit of a safe room that we're gonna be able to break into there's gonna be a little ho ho english is hard there's gonna be another portion of the base available but this one is where all the chests are hidden and as a wise man once said about being bada boom we are in they were able to they opened the door we we asked nicely we were like we, we rung the doorbell that's what that beeping was they have a very custom doorbell sound and uh, you know they were so excited to have us as guests they literally just tore off their entire wall what what's that i used high explosives no 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 no. i used metaphorical high explosives my i'm 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 explosively convincing at getting people to open their doors you, you see you see where i'm coming from like i don't break into people's homes i'm just very good at convincing them to remove their walls for me even though the, no no one's home that's right you know he's ooh, you got some decent stuff over here but he might be like star no one's home well that's how convincing i am i get them to like use their smartphone apps from like the other side wherever whatever raid they're on or whatever whatever resources zone they're harvesting i get them to use their little smartphone apps they have on their uh whatchamacall old broken phones and uh, i'm like hey can you guys use that uh can you, can you tell siri or alexa or something to open the door and they're like sure and unfortunately alexa is pretty aggressive at opening doors so aggressive she rips out the entire wall and uh, that's a little bit of a bug you know like there's we're in the post apocalypse people can't really like patch alexa anymore most of the most of the programmers are kind of busy fending off zombies and uh, holding on to dear life so uh, it's an unfortunate bug very unfortunate bug and uh, I, I we just gotta learn to live with it you know we gotta gotta do what we can and uh luckily this guy's such a good host to us as a guest he, he just gives us like look, look at all this stuff he's giving to us to to all this stuff that he's offering us so much that is like literally i don't know like, like that's like the polish way of saying like kind of like oh here you go i have some stuff for you like i genuinely don't know like as majestic of a way to say it as in polish i i am literally sorry but like i i don't know like like when when you go to someone's house right the host the, the he he's like oh let's go to a freaking ak but it's kind of like you know like as a host kind of offering stuff to your guest it's a pochon stuya Pachowski show, you know, like, oh, here you go. Take what you want, that type of stuff. It's a uh, kind of big hospitality type of thing, because in case you guys ever wander into a Polish household, let me just tell you, there will be a lot of food awaiting you. That is like the prime mark of a Polish household. Like, if, if, there, if there is food, you, well, there's going to be food, and there's going to be a lot of it, and you're going to be forced to eat it. <laughs> but doki doki it's time for us to put the finishing blows into the rest of these doofuses and i want to make sure to minimize the amount of hits that we suffer because i don't want my scuba mask getting dinked up too bad and we might need to utilize our kalashnikov a little bit yes that is right because i don't know if this pistol will be able to destroy the rest of these abominations so we might need to make a little bit of noise but i don't think that that should be too big of a problemo let's just continue putting some bullets into these toxic abomination faces and a couple more bullets to go this thing is definitely about to break are you almost dead no so it is ak thunder welcome to the ak thunderstruck performed by akdk and toxic abominations unfortunately you gotta die now unfortunately thunder 
Our 8K Thunderstruck is very, very loud, as you guys might be able to tell. <laughs> it's, it's producing quite a little bit of noise, but listen, these abominations, they gotta die. Could I have used the melee weapon? Yes. Would I have had nearly as much fun? <laughs> no. And you guys know me, I'm all about having a fan freaking fantastic time and having a jolly good time, which is, by the way, why you should all put it a whole English is hard. Why y'all should be checking out some of those other survival games going up on the channel, because if you guys like Last Day on Earth, you like survival games. And I love Last Day on Earth, so we have very similar tastes. And some of these other games might very well tickle your fancy a little bit. You know what I mean, bro? It is very good chance. It's like, oh, I like this. And it is like, yes, you do like this. So definitely go ahead and give them a look when you have the opportunity. Because there's like all sorts of stuff that we are checking out. And like I'm saying, the, the, the good chance you're going to be liking some of them. Because we're always having a fan freaking fantastic time with them as well. And dude, there's some really cool survival games coming out. And there's a couple I got my eyes on. That we will be playing soon that uh, oh, i cannot wait to begin our adventures into but for now i will simply conclude our adventures in this base by breaking down this wall to show you guys that you should not break into this portion of the base because it is worthless oh i guess there's a little iron bench over here that we could break into brings us to 99 noise luckily 99 isn't 100 so the the douche canoe known as the big one he is not summoned he sleep he's totally hibernating but as soon as we cross into that 100 range he awakens he is like i know sleep i wake and that is when you must be a little bit concerned because awoken big one is probably problem problem prob Probably, prob, prob, a probable, probable. I was trying to make a pun, I failed. We'll grab these wrenches and I guess we'll just kind of fill out the rest of our inventory with some wheels and some saw blades. And I like, as you guys are probably seeing, there's really not a lot in this base. Was this worth the C4? I mean, define worth. Because to me, it's always worth breaking into bases to show off to you guys what they have inside of them. So you guys, after watching this video and seeing what they have inside of them, not worth it. Go away. Avoid at all costs. You don't want a piece of this because, like, that AK was the highlight of our raid. Luckily, our day was highlighted by a fan freaking fantastic teaser that I still cannot get over by hype levels. So, I'm having a good one, and hopefully you guys are having a great one that only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. But with that said, with that done, and with this raid concluded, that's gonna go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Chugga, 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 choo, choo!